Orlando attorneys will represent Congresswoman Corrine Brown in her federal corruption trial. On his firm's website, Mark Nijame is described as Orlando's own Johnny Cochran. David Haas also works for the same law firm. John Ford's Lindsay Gardner covered a court hearing in the case today and just heard from Nijame about 30 minutes ago. Lindsay? Yes, Tom, Mark Nijame just texted me a full statement telling me he's known Congresswoman Brown for years. More on that in just a moment, but first I can tell you Nijame and Haas are now the defense counsel that will stick in this case. They are actually the third pair tied to the Congresswoman's defense, but now that they filed the official paperwork, they are the defense team moving forward. For Congresswoman Brown, hiring a new defense team means she was excused from today's hearing. Mark Najame and David Haas will represent Brown in the federal corruption case tied to a questionable charity, the One Door for Education. Plus, Brown is facing tax charges. Both Brown and her chief of staff, Ronnie Simmons, maintain their innocence in the 24-count federal indictment. Najame's bio says he's known as the Johnny Cochran of Central Florida, and he's previously represented Tiger Woods and Casey Anthony's parents. He also says George Zimmerman tried to hire him as his defense attorney. Haas's bio says he's a former federal prosecutor with experience in public corruption cases and complex financial crimes plus tax fraud. Another former federal prosecutor, Curtis Fallgatter, tells me that's a good match. She would want a lawyer that's very skilled with white collar and this type of tax type issues and, and mail fraud. Fogatter previously estimated Brown's defense could cost somewhere between a quarter million to a half million dollars. So I asked Mark Nijame what he is charging the congresswoman, and here is his full statement to me. He says a discussion about our fee arrangement wouldn't be appropriate. I've known Congresswoman Brown for many years and would hope that the community she has tirelessly served recognizes the immense good work she has done for two decades. She is entitled to the presumption of innocence and vigorously denies any wrongdoing which will ultimately be established. Also a bit of courtroom drama today in court as well tied to Brown's co-defendant Ron Ronnie Simmons, who was not in court as ordered. The judge actually had some discussion as possibly issuing a bench warrant for his arrest. But after calling for a brief recess, he got in touch with Ronnie Simmons, who was actually all the way in Maryland, as well as Simmons' new counsel, and decided this was a genuine misunderstanding. And Simmons' new legal team filed their paperwork an hour and 15 minutes late. But again, Simmons avoiding that bench warrant arrest. Reporting live from downtown tonight, Lindsay Gardner, Channel 4 the local station.